My name is Juha Rokangas. I build electric guitars in Finland. Um, first, I could tell you with a few words about my background, so you know who is talking to you from here. Um, I have studied. I like to think I've studied Luther since. 80s, my self studies, books, things, time before the internet. Um, that's when I learned to talk English as well. My biggest motivation was to um, learn everything I could about guitars, and there was not one single book in Finnish language about it. So, uh, yeah. Otherwise, I wasn't that motivated in school. English, I was good. Um, yeah, then I studied in the uh, in, uh, College of Crafts and Design in Finland and the Lutheran Department. Uh, it's a small school, specialist school we have in Finland. I graduated from the school in 1996. And even before I graduated, I have already, I already started my own company in 1995. I worked first year as a subcontractor to another Finnish guitar maker. And apprenticed at a classical guitar workshop and uh, so on. And, and I have continued educating myself and finally got my master's degree in 2009, last year. And design process and the building process of this guitar, the unicorn guitar, was sort of part of my um, master's degree studies. Nowadays, my company, we have, uh, it's me and three more people. My wife, Emma, there, sitting in the front row. One of them, and two more guys. All of us have Luthier education. We build um, about 100 guitars a year with no aid of CNC technology, old school. And, well, my guitars have, those who know about my guitars, they know them usually for several reasons. And one of them is, one of the distinct uh, features of my guitars, I use, I like to use this tonewood Spanish cedar very much. Another thing we're recognized from is usually the Arctic birch that we use for the top material, whether it's plain, like in this guitar here, or that could be one of the nicest pieces that we have, and everything in between, and then some really exotic pieces. But Arctic birch is something that isn't commercially available as tonewood, so it's a bit of a struggle to get it, and, and for us it's been like a... Um, a job to be able to use it. Let's talk about it more later when we get to the myths of guitar making. And another special technique we use for drying our wood, it's called thermal treatment. It's a, it's a wood drying method patent, patented in Finland and um, does similar things to wood as aging does in a few decades. So uh, there's several things, the cell walls of the wood harden and certain resins inside the wood uh, crystallize and the pores clean out in a similar way as, as, as it does for wood when it ages for a long period of time. There's a huge university study about thermal treatment in Finland and we've been part of that study and uh, it's great. This picture you see here shows one of the researched facts about the thermal treatment that it um, it makes the wood more stable regarding the relative humidity. Um, thermal treated wood reacts slower to the changes in humidity and less. That's basically what it does. So a neck built out of thermal treated wood would be a bit more 
more relaxed or, or so, so subtle in its movements than non-thermotreated wood. However, all wood species don't can't be thermotreated, at least so far we haven't found a way to do it. And one of our main main wood species, the Spanish cedar, is one of these woods. When we try to thermotreat it, it cracks to pieces. Can't. So we do it for our uh, on the birch, and we do it for all the uh, maple necks that we use in our bolt on guitars and um, alder bodies we use also. Um, another thing that we are quite well, maybe not widely known, but in our little margin way known, is our sort of almost unorthodox marketing approach that we like to um, we're quite flashy in certain things we do. We, I like to think that we've succeeded to engage internet to our will in, in such ways that support our clientele extremely well. And um, one, the, well, the kind of the biggest thing for us is the, the use in internet of our, uh, for example, our guitar builder tool, which solves pretty effectively the kind of problem that I've experienced building guitars and communicating with my customers. We have tons of options to choose from, and how can the customer know what can he choose from, and how to visualize the, the um, outcome. Of course, this is always a, a mock-up. It's, it's a kind of a compromise to see an approximation of a guitar. It doesn't tell the whole truth. It's a, far from it, but still it gives a starting point. More than a few emails and photos of guitars that we have built. We have so much different combinations options that we we build 100 guitars a year. We, there's no way we could build every kind of guitar that we are capable of building as a to show as a sample and photos. So we created this little tool. We even even made a little iPhone application on it, just for the fun of it. It's just cool to have an iPhone. <laughs> yeah, and to make Mick jealous about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my biggest rivalry. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> yeah.